hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is show digital if today is the first time joining my channel thank you so much for coming to watch my video and if you're part of the family you subscribe to this channel which is free thank you so much for subscribing and coming to watch this video again now if you are in one of those countries that paper is not allowed um then this video is for you because i'm going to show you step by step on how to create paper account and believe me guys this will be the last bus stop this will be your last bus stop after this video you won't have issue with paper again you don't need to create paper again and you are good to go all right so this is a new paper account that i just created and it's fully functioning all right i created this yesterday for a client so i said let me share this with you all right so you can see this all right i've linked i mean i've confirmed my email just to link the card that i'm waiting for the card to be linked all right so how do you get something like this how do you create without issue because so many times now if you create paper you see that you have one notification and all that that's your paper has been restricted you have been restricted from having paper so let me refresh this account so that you know that um it's functioning where it's fine everything is fine all right so i want to show you the step to create this paper right so but before we go in um one thing you need to understand is that if you've created paper before with a phone number with and with one email or the other don't use that email again and don't use the phone number again okay all you just need to do is to get a new phone number if you can go and register new sim go ahead and do so but i won't advise you to register new sim because if you register new sim you might just throw the sim somewhere and um, later on when people maybe when you have to verify your e phone number you can be looking for the for the phone number for the sim so it's advisable if you have a, if you have a brother sister that you know that you can use their phone number that they're close to you can use their phone number. or if you can get a new sim that you know you are going to be using and then you can get that new sim all right then just create new email afresh to do this job all right you need to create new email you can use that former email that they banned you that email that you used before that they banned you can use it again so just create new email and you have phone number now that you have new email and phone number let us proceed all right so one thing you need to do is that also know that if you've used your phone to register paper before don't use that phone again to register the new one try to use your friend's phone number i mean phone or if you have second phone use your second phone or if you have a laptop use a laptop or better still you use incognito on chrome browser but instead of you using incognito on chrome browser i'm going to show you a way out if you don't have two phones or if you don't want to talk to anybody to borrow you their phones and all so i'm going to show you the the application i use that allows me to have another browser in that application so let me show you that first so first thing i'm going to go out of this space all right so if you come here if i come to my phone you can see that my phone has my phone has this thing that say persona and work now in work i have another application right here in this work all right so and again you can see that i have chrome inside this place i have some application right in here i have chrome i have island setting i have my fire of this so this is the application i'm using right i'm using an application called island island is on play store just go to play store download the app once you download the app register i mean once you download your app install the app once you install the app you are good to go so let's go let's do it this way go to play store so come right here search for island island app island 
so when you click on island install the application on your phone when you have this application on your phone you can see i have it on my phone already so this application will help you to have another chrome another workplace that you can have too many applications in that same application just like if you open this app now you're going to have another chrome there you can have another another uh, firefox another browsers and it's going to appear as if it's a new phone all right as if it's another phone you you understand so that if you are opening the paper it's going to appear to people that you're using another phone all right so let's go so once you download this application after downloading you click you click on it once you download the app you install the app so you want to set it up so if you want to set it up all you just need to do is click on it click accept once you click on accept all right click accept click another agree then allow it to do the work all right so uh the app stopped my video recording so i have to just allow it so after which it has finished setting up everything so you have something like this you have the app you have all this thing you have chrome you have this you have this and you have this so now let's go and use this the chrome in this app to do our opening of paper all right so we're gonna go minimize this since we're done with the the application set now so we we just minimize it so right now we are in the workplace you can see the workplace because how do i get here now after which you've installed the app just come to the last part on your phone you are going to see you are going to have two dashboard which is personal your personal where you have your personal application then you have the workplace when you have the island applications so click on the workplace then you're going to see the chrome here so click on chrome browser so now this chrome browser is a fresh browser and it's just appearing as if it's on another phone all right it's as if as if it appears as if it's uh it's on another phone so once you can, you can see it's just set, setting up so it's showing that this is another phone right so that's what we are trying to do so that people will see a new phone they won't see the former phone that you've used before so you need that application so right now just say use without an account just click on it use without an account then right now i'm going to just go ahead and put paypal now this is the link you're going to be using paypal is not just ordinary paper you can see paypal paypal so it's going to be paypal dot com forward slash ae that is arab emirates all right for slash ae for slash business so for slash ae for slash business all right ordinary for slash ae still the same thing all right but if you say for slash ae for slash business we are still talking about the same thing all right so yeah what you need to do right now this is paper for slash which your paper you with your business accounts you get access to diverse to is blah 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 so what you need to do next is to click on sign up so when you click on sign up then you are going to click on business account then you click on continue all right now when you click on continue what you have to do right now immediately is to go ahead and put in your email address just follow me carefully all right put in your email address so i'm just trying to wait for it so when you have something like this just close this one close this one then put in your email address here so i'm going to put in the email address all right so once you put in your email address you click on continue so once you click on continue you put in the password so you are going to make sure your password have 
you have a capital letter all right once you have capital letter then you make sure you have a number then you have a symbol so i'm going to do something like that right now all right i'm going to do something like that right now so once you put in your password with one big letter which is capital letter then small letter which is the smaller small letter then um you have a number then you have a symbol it could be at ash or whatever dollar sign or those sign any of them so after that you click on continue all right then here yeah, tell us about your business now you are going to put in your name your real name here or your first name so let's say your first name is uh okay I'm going to put this, then you put in your last name, which is your surname. All right. Then you're going to put in your business name here. Okay. Okay, put in your miss. So put in your what is that what is that business name again? Put in your business name. So when you put in your business name, then you are going to go down. Um here yeah, the phone number, the business phone number, please make sure you select your country phone number. Why? Because they are gonna send you a they might want to send you code, so you don't want to have issue with it. Alright, so make sure you put in your country phone number. Because now let's say why are you putting your country phone number because now you can be you can be in nigeria right you can you can be you can be be a nigerian that moved to uh dubai all right that moved to dubai so because you moved to dubai doesn't mean you 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 can't change your phone number you can change your own phone number you can decide to be using your nigerian nigerian phone number by roaming the number okay so they believe that oh, if you're even a foreigner you can still use your local phone number so that's why you're going to put your country phone number here so i'm going to select nigeria all right so click on nigeria click on your country then put in your phone number here i'm going to put the phone number right here so once i put the phone number you can remove the first zero all right put the phone number once you're done putting your phone number you go ahead then you put your p.o box your address now again if you have let's say you've moved to dubai that means if you've moved to dubai i said you can still maintain your local phone number but you can't maintain the same address so here you're going to put a dubai address a working dubai address so how do you do it you open another tab then we're going to search for an address in dubai or arab arab emirates so we're going to do it like this so open another tab and put in like okay let's say mark shop in dubai that's the name of the that's what she she's doing right this person so i want to see so I I've, I've been trying to get address with a PO PO box but it's very difficult but what I do was uh, instead of putting spa or mark I put media addresses media media addresses and their PO box okay media addresses and their PO box in Dubai location so that's what I did so right now I think I have one here so I click on this one media production so i'm looking for the address 
this one does not have a PO box. So, so let's see Mac Studio, Map Studio, if they have, they don't have. So let's see Studio 52, Studio 52. Very good. Studio 52 has what we're looking for. So this is the address and the PO box. So this is the PO box. That's what we're looking for. All right. So we're going to copy the address. Copy all this address. All right. Copy it. Go back to the to the paper. So EA put the address where they have additional information. Put the address there. Okay. Then go to the PO box. Copy this PO box here. Copy it. Put it in the PO box. All right. Then the city is going to be Dubai. Because I guess the city is Dubai, 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 yes, Dubai, United Emirates. So it's going to be Dubai. So here is going to be Dubai. All right. So it's going to be Dubai, Dubai. And then what we need to do next is to click on this button right here and then click on agree. So we're going to select business here. What you need to select here is individual sole proprietorship. Individual stroke sole proprietorship. Because if you just put sole proprietorship or you put uh, corporate, they are going to ask for your CAC and all. So you don't want to bother yourself. So just put individual stroke sole proprietorship. Then the product is going to be just put digital so that you won't they stop yourself digital goods media book movie just put that one then website leave it like that it's optional so click on continue and then next thing is going to surface guys if you are enjoying this video kindly like this video okay please like this video thank you so much and if you are yet to subscribe on this channel, kindly do so. It is free to subscribe. Please subscribe. Thank you. So date of birth, information of birth. So put it here. So I'm going to quickly put the information of birth. And then here, the nationality. Don't forget, this nationality should be Nigeria. Because you are, you are going to put your Nigeria ID card. Okay, that's your nationality. That's where you're from. All right, it's your nationality. So put Nigeria here. All right, so your ID card. So right now I'm going to use national ID card. If you have passports, if you have driver's license, put it. So I'm going to use national ID card. Then I'm going to put the ID card number. Then the pass. Then I'm going to put the. I'm going to set this date of birth. Then I'm continue. Then don't forget, make sure it's stick this same as business address. It's stick. All right, it's stick like this. So I'll fill this one and click submit. That's all. So once I've put all the information, the date of birth, and then I put my NI, I put the NI number, I'm going to click submit. So right now we are in paper.
So all I just need to do is to allow them to check it, and um, once they approve it, then I will be. I will continue the video. Thank you. Right now, our paper is okay. It's perfect because I have to submit that proof that oh this paper is functioning i mean this is my id card i think it was because i delete uh, so i delete in the but with the paper is good now you can see no error nothing nothing everything is functioning well you see the name mark we're good to go you know so right now the paper is okay so I, all i need to do is to confirm the email address so i'm going to go to, into the email address and confirm the email address all right so i'll use a second phone to confirm the email address all right guys so go into the email you can see it's making a lot of sense they have to approve it because i did all the right things so i have the information in the email address right now so i'm going to click on it and um, we your information is being reviewed the information you submitted is currently reviewed uh, by paper once we continue that's the email they sent to me and they said confirm your email so we just confirm the email address and i'm going to say okay confirm it then i'm going to say Okay, I want to confirm the email address. So once I confirm it from here, you are going. I'm going to refresh my phone right here. I'm trying to log in the account here. All right, confirmed your email has been confirmed so let me refresh from my phone right now i'm using my second phone to do the confirmation of the email so i'm going to refresh right now so that you will see that it has been it has been what confirmed so I'm refreshing it's still loading it's logged me out so i'm going to log in let me log out from this other phone so that we don't have issue all right, so I'm going to log out from this other phone. So I'm going to log in from here. Log in this one and put in the password. Let me put the password. So once I put the password, I'm going to say log in. OK going on it's coming up it's coming up it's coming up it's coming up right here you can see this your account is ready you see this just to link our bank so i've already i'm going to drop a video on how to i'm going to drop a video on how to link the bank account but i've already done a video on the particular account bank account you are going to link to this paper so in the description box of this video you're going to see the link to watch the video watch that video so that you will create your dollar account and then after creating the dollar account we will link the bank with this paper all right so that's for that thank you for watching this video bye for now